imagine that you are launching a little rocket to the moon. You calculate the trajectory and the distance and the fuel that you need and the amount of thrust that you need to make it to the moon. So you only put enough gas to make it to the moon. And you fire just enough thrusters just so you'll cruise right into the moon and then you cut the thrusters when you know that you've got enough thrust. Now in that scenario, if everything works perfectly and, it, and you did every calculation right and it's all good, you will get exactly to the moon. But if there's something wrong, some small miscalculation, some small deviation, something happens that disrupts the plan, you will die out. You won't have enough fuel, you won't have enough thrust, and you will be dead in the water, dead in space, and not make it to the moon. So what should you do in that situation? Should you perhaps plan for making it further than the moon? So if that's true, then why the in life are you just aiming for the finish line all the time? You gotta do more than that's required because you are going to underestimate what it takes to accomplish anything in life. This is what you should expect. Whatever you think it's gonna take, it's gonna take two to three times more. In fact, my buddy Grant Cardone, he has a really good book on this called 10X Rule, and it's a little extreme, but he says in that book, he says that it'll take 10 times more than you estimate, so you better put in 10 times the work, you better put in 10 times the effort, you better assume that it's 10 times harder. If you assume it's 10 times harder and you go for the 10 times effort, you're gonna hit, you're gonna plow your spaceship right through the moon, you're gonna put a hole in the moon that you're gonna hit it so hard, and that's great, okay? It's so much better than missing your target and wasting all the time and wasting all the energy because you arbitrarily set your goal too small or you misplanned. So think about it for whatever you're trying to accomplish in life. How many years are you gonna waste where you're not making progress or, or you're making a little bit of forward progress and then you're making backward progress and it's evening out. It's better to overdo it, to give more, to do more than that is required. And here's the other thing about this. This is the beauty of this. Imagine that you're trying to lose weight and let's say that your calories for just maintaining your body weight are 2,500 per day. And you basically eat 2,300 calories a day. So you're in a deficit of 200 calories. So it'll take you something around like 20 days or so you could expect to, to lose a pound of fat. Imagine that you're already doing the diet, you're already planning out the meals because there's some effort involved in doing that stuff because you've got to calculate that and right. And instead you just said, you know what? Instead of eating 2,300, I'm gonna drop it down to 2,000. Now you're losing a deficit of 500 calories per day and now you're going to increase the weight loss by 2.5 times. So if you're losing 500 calories a day, every seven days you're gonna lose a pound instead of approximately every 18. That's a lot faster, okay? It's more than twice as fast. The effort required to be in a 200 calorie deficit of planning the meals, of calculating the macros and the nutrients and preparing those healthy meals and all that stuff, and even the pain involved, it's not much different than cutting it down to 2,000 calories. You're still doing all the same stuff, you're just putting a little bit less on the plate or eating a couple of bites less, right? A little bit less food. The pain, the difficulty, the sacrifice is not much more, but you're getting more than two times the result in life that concept applies. Yesterday, 20 mile run was, was my run was supposed to be. I was pretty f***ing tired, but I ran 20 and then I kept going. And so I just went to 23 and then when I was at 23, I was like, you know what? I might as well just hit 26.2. And it was tough. It was definitely not easy, but I did it for a couple of reasons. When you are at that point of completing the, the minimum, every effort, every mile past that, that little bit of effort is exponentially beneficial to you. You get the most growth as a person by pushing beyond that limit, just a little bit beyond that limit. That little bit is gonna benefit you more than that first part, and that first part is the hardest part. A lot of times though, we stop. We stop where we're gonna get the most benefit uh, because that's all that we're required to do. But just by going a little bit beyond, you get a, a major benefit in life because that's where you get the most, the biggest period of growth. Running a marathon is hard. Like running 26.2 miles, it's not easy. But the easiest point, to do that is when you've already run 20. It's much more difficult to set out and run 26.2 miles, but if you've already run 20, to run 6.2 more doesn't require nearly as much effort. So that's the same thing with a lot of things in life, right? If you've already put in the effort to go this far, it's kind of the difference between being number one and being number two. 
the person who's the number one in an industry, they get like maybe 80%, it's like Prato's Law, right? They get maybe 80% of the sales of the volume of the business. The person who's number two, they get 20%. So how much more effort does it take to go from two to one? It might just be a little bit of effort. And if you put in a little bit more work than that's required, you might be able to go to number one and 4X the amount of results that you're getting just by simply putting in a little bit more effort. So there's a lot of things that you can do in life, a lot of goals that you can achieve where there's a maintenance cost involved. There is a overhead involved. And just by putting in a little bit more effort, a little bit more than that's required, you get a huge return. If you've ever been in any kind of business where there's volume pricing, why is there volume pricing on shit, right? Like I've got this shirt, right? That's got the Bulldog logo. If I order one of these, it might be like $50. If I order 5,000 of them, it, they might be like $10 each. Why? The setup where they make these kind of shirts or like do the embroidery or, or whatnot, in order to do one run, they have to set up certain equipment and have the logo and have someone do that, that work, okay? And that's a fixed cost. Now, the more shirts that you create, the more you distribute that fixed cost across the number of shirts. So the lower the impact of the overhead is. So it makes more sense to make more shirts at one time because you're getting a greater value per shirt. The same thing in life and many, many things in life, almost everything that we do, almost every goal that we try to achieve, there is a huge overhead. Let's imagine the stupidity of this. Suppose you wanted to go to the gym to lift weights for five minutes a day. How stupid would that be? Because you have to put on your clothes for the gym. You have to go to the gym. Maybe you're walking there or driving there. Get in, do your workout, and then get back, take a shower, take your clothes out, right? If you're gonna be there, doesn't it make more sense to lift weights for at least an hour? So every hour that you're there at the gym lifting weights, it reduces the amount of the impact of that overhead. So it is in all the things that you're trying to do in life and your goals. You have to remember that. Now, if you think about it, it from the mental perspective too, right? The thing is, when you go and you do something and you give it your five, <laughs> you feel like shit afterwards. You feel like you didn't do it at all. In fact, you feel worse. You might be beating yourself up because you gave it a five, right? Because you didn't put in the effort. But when you give it a nine, when you give it a 10, you feel psyched up, you feel pumped. You feel like you actually accomplished something. It gives you that momentum that pushes you forward. Success begets success. So if you want to achieve your goals, if you want to be successful, always remember, don't do that just what's required. Do more. If you really want to make sure you're going to achieve your goals and be successful, do two to three times. If you're Grant Cardone series, do 10x. And then I think 10x is really, it's a metaphor. It's not practical in many places. So I'll be honest about that. But two to three x is. Just do 110% every time. Just do 10% more. And if you do that continually, if you make that a principle and you do that in everything in your life, you're gonna see exponential results. So basically you need to ask yourself this question. If you're not gonna give it a nine, at least a nine, why the fuck are you doing it? Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you watch this one next. It's great to always go the extra mile, but you'll inevitably run out of motivation at some point. Here are seven questions you can ask yourself whenever that happens so you can refuel your tank and get right after it. Talk soon.